It gave Perfect. me my computer, so I don't know. All right. All right. Go. <laughs> All right. Hi. I'm Maureen Ferguson. I've been with Keller Williams for almost three years. And on my anniversary, I believe, is like March 1st. Um, and I started out as an assistant um, for another agent and like got licensed and just been moving forward ever since. And it's been a fun ride. I hope everyone that's new here will enjoy it as much as I have. Um, you're probably going to hear from me a little different aspects than others, how they get their listings. Not sure, but uh, for me, it's kind of happened very naturally. Um, and I haven't had to probably work as hard as some. Um, I come from a background of customer service, hairstylist for 27 years, um, have marketing behind me from working at a sign company and, and such. But uh, because of staying close to my roots and my hometown, um, I live on, lived on the Eastern shore for most of my life, except for the last four years, that's become my natural niche. So, and because, because I've had this business and I only retired from doing hairdressing completely um, last January uh, or December, um, they're my biggest fans and they're my referral base. Uh, so that's how I believe I've conquered, I don't know if you conquer it, but in the listings uh, of things. So I think I had 19 listings in 2020, right around there. Um, all together 36. So I think, yes, yeah. so I think it was like 19 listings and 17 um, buyers that I worked with last year on my own. Um, yeah, and most of them, most of all referrals come from that. I work um, networking through mainly Facebook for free. I just show myself as being active. Look, I'm out today showing some homes or I'm looking for listings. Our market is hot and I'm using those venues. Um, and as I, of course, solidify and have an accepted offer, I use my command to market that and always put it up. So there's my accepted offer, there's my sold, and there's my closing day. So I use every opportunity I can to push myself on Facebook generically and for free. So that's basically how I <laughs> have been very fortunate um, with listings. I've already this year, um, I think I'm at, to, at four, started like working on four new listings. So. Summer now actually returned my very first um, listing. Um, it was with another uh, agent, but they were away on one of our family reunions and I had to do everything on my own. So I had uh, to take care of our client, the lister, mm -hmm. and I actually had the buyer agent and it was a multiple offer situation three years ago. <laughs> so um, talk about stress, um, but they've now already turned over and want me to sell their home. So, I'm on, you know, that, re that return referral base is amazing mm -hmm. uh, if you can get it. And it's all about, honestly, customer care and being as helpful as you can to them and as understanding, um, you know, and the stress that they go through. So that's basically what I do. Um, you know, command is very important um, and marketing yourself is very important. On the other side, what I do for marketing my listings as I have them before the pandemic, I would um, do up a feature page or package, I should say, you probably can't see this very well, but command, do up a nice feature page that highlights, you know, a picture of their home, a few of the great, um, you know, things about each home, a few of the details. Um, I put it in a binder before the pandemic and everything is in there with a cut sheet, um, you know, your taxes, your power, your property disclosure, everything is there for them to look at. Um, we, of course, now with the pandemic, we're also using the 3D um, home tour so that people that are away can look at the home online. Some are buying, of course, without even viewing the home, just trusting that agent. And it does up a footprint of the property as well in the home. Now that the pandemic is here, I don't put anything in here they can touch and leave germs on in the home. So 
but all that same package is uploaded and put on Paragon as well as in showing time. So as soon as they go to book the showing requested, it automatically gets emailed to that agent and they can then print it off and give their clients um, a full package. Um, actually, I was just um, complimented the other day because my package was so complete and so informative that it beat theirs and they were very proud of their own. <laughs> one that they put out so um it's important to give the people the details um so they have everything today i find they want to know if, if it's under this high pressure they really want to know up front everything about that home that they possibly can minus the home inspection unless you can have your clients pre-home pre-inspect and things like that um you know the more the the better that they can make that good decision when they offer and less chances i feel of it falling so. Maureen, do you mind telling everyone who you use for your photos? <clears throat> I use Chris Green. He used to work for Luxy and he's now on his own. Um, and he's fantastic. And he's efficient. Um, and yeah, uh, anyone that wants afterwards, they can give me a text or an email and I sure. can definitely uh, put that information out. Okay. Okay. Great. I know that's often a question with some yeah. of these questions is who, who do you use for some of those resources? Yeah. And he's excellent. Like I said, he left a big company to do it on his own. He has two mm -hmm. different cameras because um, he's getting into the commercial aspect, I believe too, with uh, like big car companies and stuff. Um, so okay. he's got all the equipment and can do okay. drones and all that good stuff. Okay. Yep. Well, that's all, it's so nice when you get one of those packages because like that's pretty much all your seller conditions done it is absolutely yep yeah. exactly so uh, quick question maureen does he do the floor plan as well Chris? yes if the whole package is done and if you want a um outside video um you know he'll do drone shots for yeah. camera you know stills but he can also do um the outside he did a beautiful one and i i picked that on you know certain types of listings as uh, you know your big buck listings sometimes <laughs> you know i had an ocean front that was on a cliff in lawrence town he did gorgeous ones and he added music actually he did that one for me um just to show me as a sample so he actually gave it to me for nothing because um, he wanted to see what he could do uh, or show me what he could do um and it's beautiful and it's still pinned to my facebook um business page if anyone wants to go look at it and, and roughly how much does he charge um, all together with an outside like video um, with the music and all that, I believe it comes to like under three, I believe it's like three something like it with tax. It's like 345, I think. 347. Okay. That's your floor plan. And That's my floor plan, my 3D home tour um, yeah. link, um, and then all my stills. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else have any other questions for Maureen? <laughs> Anything, there's no stupid questions, anything at all. What are you doing for open houses right now? No open houses for me. <laughs> Less germs as possible. That's why, again, I do the 3D mm -hmm. tour. I think for me, that keeps people out. Um, yeah. yeah. Even on before uh, before uh, the pandemic, I'm just not a fan of it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, safety, what have you, it's for me, you know. Uh, now, moving forward, when my daughter does uh, come on board with me, probably, you know, mid this year, we'll probably do some, but I'll do it together. You know, then you have safety and numbers, I feel like, you know, and for her, she'll want to capture leads as well. So... Mm -hmm. But that's just me. <laughs> everyone's different, right? It works great for some people, and yeah, and you know, well, exactly. And some and people have things that they do, and some people just yeah. say, you know what? And most of my sellers, they don't want them. No, and, and it all depends on your geographic area. So Eastern Shore, if it's in the country, the rural areas, you're really not doing. Um, they're not coming you're gonna get a nosy neighbor maybe but you're not city different thing i've seen them it's a flow of people but yeah. again we're in a pandemic where we can't have a flow of people right so yeah. awesome <clears throat> perfect <laughs> anyone else have anything that they wanted to check in on with listings 
Well, I can talk a little bit about the marketing aspect. Um, what I find, so I have a marketing background uh, like Maureen. I, I, we have, a, I guess, a similar story. I started out, so I worked in marketing for about 13 years. Uh, my husband is a real estate agent. He has been for maybe seven years now. And when I left marketing, I went to become his unlicensed assistant. And after a couple of years, I decided to get licensed myself. So I've been licensed for almost two years and we've been with Keller Williams for about a year, just over. And what we love uh, about Keller Williams is um, a, a lot of things uh, like these trainings, for example, but uh, the technology. So with command, uh, we can, once we have our listing, do these uh, campaigns on Facebook where the cost is really, really cost effective. Like you mm -hmm. have it now where it's probably like around 60 cents, sometimes 25 cents, depending on the campaign, how well it works per lead. And we find that I haven't had success on trying to get listings through command, to be honest with the campaigns, but to get buyers with your listings, uh, that we've had a lot of great success. And mm -hmm. one of the uh, tips that Aaron had actually said is to have like limited amount of information don't say it's like four bedrooms and right. two bedrooms because then a lot of people are they're not going to click because oh I only want you know I, I need three bedrooms and this one says two but if you put as little information as possible and that way you're going to have more chance of getting more buyers clicking on it and if they don't want that house you can always help them find another one. That's a really great point. Being able to utilize command for. Um, to your advantage, right? When you get a listing <clears throat> to be able to pick up buyers and hopefully another listing. But like you say, I think it's yeah. probably more of a challenge with the listing side of it. Yeah, but I, I haven't had a great success on trying to find listings through it. And maybe that's just having to try more, you know, different creatives and different uh, campaigns, but certainly to try and get uh, buyer leads, which like you said, sometimes the buyer, they need to sell their own house before they buy the other one. So you could get right. both a buyer and seller through the leads. Yeah. But um, yeah, those, we've had some great success with that. And like Maureen was saying, the virtual tour. So we do that as well. And in your Facebook campaign, you can have it lead towards either your website where you have the virtual tour that they can look at it themselves, or you can get your own landing page done through command as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is really easy to set up, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. So where do you guys get most of your leads, Nicole, for listings? For listings, uh, I, I would say right now, probably a lot of referrals or like either past clients yes. and repeat. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like, like Maureen was saying, it's really being, giving them that customer care and not just, not just being a salesperson, but really you're there to help them throughout the process. And that, that lasts with them, you know, that experience is something that they want to have their friends experience or they want to experience mm -hmm. it with you again. So that's really important and keeping in touch as well, you know giving them their, you know, happy birthday text or, or phone call and, you know, just checking in periodically to make sure that they know that you're still thinking of them after the sale. Yeah, right. I agree with that for sure. So do um, you I have a, uh, a question. Hi, I'm Joe Phoenix. I'm, I'm new to Nova Scotia about three months now. Hey, so about 98. Welcome, Sorry. I said, welcome, Joe. Thank you. Uh, about 98% of the people I know are from Ontario. That's where, I, that's where I'm from. Um, so uh, my question is, um, starting out new, I'm also uh, rural. I'm near uh, Sheet Harbor. So starting out new, um, what, what would uh, anyone recommend for lead generation? I know there's a lot of G, uh, sorry, lead generation sources available, and I'm just wondering where to start. <laughs> everyone's got a, probably a different a different option. answer yeah. yeah and it'll okay. all depend honestly i mean you've got a great source if you if you're touch and base with your ontario people that's fantastic yeah because um, yeah. there's that. try and bring them here because that's where they're coming from that's what we're that's a yeah. lot of our sales you know yeah. they're coming here they're moving here um i honestly i use um i have a website through brevity um mm -hmm. for legion and i can I have it just for myself. Um, when my daughter comes on, it'll be mainly for her. I only, and I don't use it a lot. Um, I've got, a, it's great to have the, you know, um, 
the internet to be able to go there and have that source for people to click on. You can see right away the ones that are serious and the ones that aren't, um, the ones that actually respond to your campaigns that you have going on. Um, you know, you can tell those serious ones. I've picked up quite a few from that. You know, I had a sale last year, it was three quarters of a million um, from a condo. They wanted a high-end condo in downtown Halifax. Yes, I can help you. <laughs> you know? um, and I've had nice. listings and stuff out of it. You can get them, um, but you got to be willing to put the money in, you know? So I think I've got it okay. down to about 275 a month I pay. So, I mean, that's, that's a good chunk of change. Um, but, you know, if you look at it, if you can get even one, even if you get one good lead, your commission pays for it, right? And then you still have commission. You know, it's not like you ate up all your commission on it. Um, so Brevity has been very good with the last, because I was in a team setting here back in August. I closed that out um, and we were splitting. So I'm basically still just paying half of what I was, really what I was paying and we had double it. They just split me down to half and it didn't make any difference to me. So I'm using it that way. Um, but, uh, your Facebook, your Facebook, you need to make yourself look current. Are you on a team or anything, Joe, or just, um, no, just by myself. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, well outside of the, outside of the city. So yes. Oh yeah. I don't know that a team would, uh, would really work, um, um, to be honest. Yeah. Now I'm going to tell you, there's another lady, um, uh, from our brokerage that's down in like the Muscadabit area and works down that way as well. Um, Ella rule. And she's yeah. fantastic. She might be someone you might want to actually connect with and just see how she kind of markets. Yeah, um, she's actually given me some leads. So excellent, excellent from, from some of her listings. So she's very, very helpful. I love KW. I love uh, KW. Okay. No kidding, right? So <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you need to maybe in your case you might be doing a little bit of door knocking and hopes to get your listings. Um, yeah, you know, but, drive around. Uh, would uh, mail outs work in this area, do you think? Is this the type of area that you think that would work? Yeah. Like door knockers? Uh, you can, door hangers, I'm sorry. It's hard to say, you know, maybe door hangers. It's hard to say because with the pandemic, everything has just changed so much. So I don't like to, you know, say what will or doesn't because some yeah. people just won't answer the door. I'm in Portland Hills. And before the pandemic, people don't like to answer the door. So mm -hmm. magnetic, um, you know, magnet magnets for your fridge things like that i've done mine up in um like my card i've also done a fridge magnet with calendar um so you know those kind of things leave a little note you know things okay. like that um yeah. definitely um and yeah mail outs if you can get a, a certain area you know and uh, yeah stuff generally like. by postal code correct yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 okay alex, yeah, that's... alex you look like you were going to say yeah something. i was going to piggyback just being like I know I've been to Sheet Harbor a handful of times. You're it's it's far enough out that a lot of agents aren't going to go there. Personally, True. I gave a lead to um, Ella actually a year and a half ago for Sheet Harbor. Cause I was just like, it was a $120,000 house. And I was just like, by the time I drive True. my truck there four times through a transaction, like it's, it's touch and go. So I'd just be like, yeah, like let the community know that you're there and let the office even know that you're there. Cause there's gone, there's a lot of agents that won't even yeah. leave the city. Yeah. Let Throw alone. it up on our Facebook page. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and Joe going down that area and further is the, um, the gold mine, correct? Up yeah. in Mooseland. Yeah. 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 So you would be helpful for people trying to move in as well. Um, trying to, you know, being employed with them. I've had a lady that uh, wanted to do that. I wasn't willing to do all that driving down there. Yeah. And the houses are farther apart, right? So it's, it's a lot of driving. My, my first sale was in Sherbrooke. So there you go. Conditions you go. just, just met actually. So oh, that, was, excellent. that was an hour and, uh, geez, almost an hour and a half each way for me from here. Yeah. So there you what? go. Right. So what about, because I know the gold mine is increasing their staff, like they're doing a bit higher soon if they haven't already done it. I'd visit them. <laughs> yeah, I would ask them, I'd go to their office or I'd at least make a phone call and just do up a sheet um, and just leave a bunch of business cards there for them. Okay. And the other thing is you could send something in an email, um, same type of deal, everything electronic. 
so that when people are inquiring or they're talking to say, hey, here's the local realtor here that can help you, same yeah. type of deal. And then they can pass on, like I've an electric electronic um, business card and things like that. So I can text okay. it, I can email yeah. it. And it's or even like, put up a, a form, um, like a thing in their lunchroom with, with your QRL that you can get your app. Okay. So yeah. all they have to do is take a picture of it and then they've got your app right away. Nice. You could do something like that. So some of those bigger places, I think, is, are great to be able to tap into because they're great resources. Okay. And your local, yeah. like your it's, home hardware, your superstores mm -hmm. on their bulletin boards. Yeah, stores. my That's business awesome. cards at every single Excellent. business that would Don't take stop. it in Cheat Harbor. So that was, that's, that's already good. happened. Yeah. yeah, you'll own it. Before you know it, you'll own it down there because there isn't anybody. So you'll be the local agent. Yep. That was kind of the idea. Smart. <laughs> you realize that? So where, where I come from, uh, London, Ontario, there's almost as many agents in on that wow. border as there is in Nova Scotia. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're so talking a city of like around yeah. 400,000 people. There's just the competition is insane. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as long as you give great customer service and you're personable, mm -hmm. you'll spread like wildfire. What about you, Nicole? Because you guys, when did you move here? Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> we moved here from Montreal uh, just over five years ago. So when you first moved here, how did you find uh, getting business? And what was the best thing that you guys were able to do to tap into that? Um, really getting to know the community and, and, uh, you know, we, we live in around Chester. So just, you know, being personable with everybody, um, at all the stores and trying to d attend different community events. And, you know, eventually we have people that are, you know, the cashier at the local NSLC ended up buying a house with us. And, <laughs> so just really being friendly and, and getting to know everybody in the community as much as you can. Yeah. Okay. It's true, Nicole, like your massage therapist, your dentist, you let them know what you do for a living everywhere mm -hmm. you go i'm a real estate agent you know and then all of a sudden some cheese my friend is ready to, you know to do whatever and yeah. just always pass it through and have cards in your pocket <laughs> yeah. 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 yep it's it's very quiet out here this time of year and mm -hmm. i think the pandemic's making it worse yeah um, so you know things like the legion and uh, the games nights that go on and things like that, they've been suspended for now. So I'm looking forward to when they start back up and that it's yeah. hard to socialize when there's it is. No events. Yeah. Like card right. night, wing night, dark yeah, night. Exactly. All of those things are crucial. Your gardening clubs, your, you know, all of those things that you can tap into. Yeah. yeah. Even out there, just because it is such a pretty close, tight knit world, some like vehicle deck wing might even not hurt i was thinking that too the, it's like i got decals on my truck i think it was 170 bucks did both back doors and if they just start to see you every time they seem to run to the store they see your name on your back window or on your back door or whatever it'll just start to like burn into their memory yeah just don't be a jerk of a driver <laughs> yeah you can't be that <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh. Yeah, guys can do the decals. I find it a little riskier for females to do the decals. It's true. Yeah. yeah. I often okay. contemplate it and stop myself. <laughs> With that? I said I often contemplate it yeah. and then I stop myself. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's kinda, not worth the risk. Too bad, but that's a, a bit of a reality as well. Just yeah. safety, right? And wanting to be aware and cautious and not put yourself in situations i've definitely been down some roads that no one could hear you scream on for sure yeah but you would down there for sure yeah, <laughs> yeah. for sure for yeah. sure <clears throat> yeah well that's great that is really really great okay well thank right? you so much everyone i really appreciate it you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome i think it's good to to throw it up on facebook too though joe because i okay. i do think there's there are people that may have somebody that's interested in looking out in that area, but they don't want to be going out, you know, five or six times to look at properties yep. <clears throat> and to do the drive. So they'd be happy to refer it. And like okay. Maureen was saying before, just promoting yourself on your own Facebook page. I mean, you have 
if you're from Ontario, you know, most of your friends are probably from there. And as we know, most of the buyers yeah. right now are from Ontario. So if you yeah. keep promoting yourself every time, like Maureen was saying, we do the same thing. If you have a new listing, when there's an accepted offer, when there's a closing, like every step along the way, or even if you're just, you know, you know you're at a nice uh, park or something, just anything that you can say, oh, looking at houses, what a nice day to, to show a house. And just yeah. that way they'll, they'll never forget that you're a real estate agent. Everyone yeah. responds to me all the time, like, wow, you're on fire. You're a rock star because they just see me all the time. You know, yeah. I'm not bragging about anything. I'm just saying, hey, this is what's going on. This is, you know, um, and it just keeps me current. It keeps, because you know how Facebook goes, you can drop, you don't even see so many people. You don't yeah. see everybody and they don't always see you. So you want to keep that up there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my referrals are about, oh my God, so-and-so keeps up with you on Facebook all the time and tells me how well you're doing. And, you know, yeah. so yeah. you just, yeah, you just keep it, make friends here and just keep current. Yeah. Even if you're going to stuff in the community, like to Absolutely. be able to promote stuff yeah. in the community through your Facebook page. And it doesn't right. look like only real estate focused. It looks mm -hmm. like you're very community minded. Yeah. 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 And I actually am. So that's, that's oh, a good part. thing. That's a great fit then. Yeah. 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 That's, I've got, uh, I've got more free time than I did uh, back in Ontario because it was just insane there, the pace. So, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, I know it's insane more so in town, but I'm, I'm where I am for a reason. This is kind of where I want it to be. So. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And promote that. Yeah. Promote the way of life. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, <laughs> yeah. It's the way it is. It's it yes. was. It, let's just say it was a bit of an adjustment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. But as long as you're enjoying both. it. Yeah. As long as you're enjoying yeah, it, you am. show that that happiness. People will follow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. You can you can yeah. promote anything yeah. if you believe in it. I do. It's so. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so, what about, thanks so much. Oh, you're welcome. Um, Maureen or Nicole, do you guys have anything else uh, in terms of listings that uh, has been important along the way? Maybe not even just right at this moment, but maybe has been imp important um, in part of the steps to get you where you are. Not really sure there's much to add. Just like we said, really um, making sure that you're not just a salesperson, but really the customer care, I think, yes. is if there's anything to retain and all, you know, in getting listings or buyers or, or and keeping them wanting to refer you it's just really to that customer care and, and help yeah. kindness and what have yeah. you. Yeah. I always do a closing gift, but I do that for both buyers and sellers. Um, yeah. I, always, I always have a thank you at the end yeah. of it. Personalized cards. I mean, that, that yeah. comes with time as you build it. I mean, I wouldn't say go out and bust the bank now, but you know, I always do a handwritten thank you card and it's just, you know, and it's blank inside and I got to write it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a little ashamed of my hand, write my cursive, but uh, you know, there's, you know, just the, it's that personal touch, mm -hmm. um, you know, not getting too big, not getting, pushing it off to anybody else. Every, every client is dealt with from start to finish with me um, on a team. Sometimes I know that looks a bit differently, um, but for myself, that's how I've chosen really to keep myself is very personable and, and hands-on. Mm -hmm. That's just my personality. <laughs> I can't help it. Probably a control freak a little bit, <laughs> but uh, you know, they, they, you know them, they know you. There's usually some bonding that happens somewhere in there when someone tells you something and you can relate it and definitely relatability, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so um, they remember that and they like the kindness. That's things that a lot of people are, will say after the facts, just you were, you know, you were so patient um, yeah. and no understanding. And, you know, I never pushed them. I never told my clients, you know, you know, I never pushed them to anything whether to take an offer or to make an offer on either side of the board. Yeah, they're in a supportive role. Yeah, yeah. So. Helping to guide, not make the choice. I have to go, <laughs> unfortunately. So <laughs> I feel bad. this is a great session and I hope you guys are getting lots out of it, so. Great, well, thank you, Maureen. You're welcome, Maureen. anytime. Appreciate it. All right.
Right. Good luck, everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. If anyone wants to ask me any questions uh, personally, just you know, uh, either email the office or for my contact information, and I'm here for anyone. Thank you. Bye. All right. Take care. Bye. Yeah. Bye. So does anybody have any challenges with listings that they'd like to throw out to Nicole? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just, yeah, they're just the commitment. Mm. Like so many people are just like, oh, the wait till spring or the people mm. that actually have to buy and sell, like it's tough. Like I got three or four that are like they'll list, but they also have to buy. So it's like, and they, there's nothing to buy. I know. Yeah. I know it's so hard right now. We all desperately need listings to get the buyer's side, buyer's lists down. Yeah. 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 Hopefully she'll balance a little in the spring Yeah. or tomorrow. Oh, isn't it an advantage the fact that there are no listings as far as trying to get someone to kind of step up and list now as opposed to the spring? Mm -hmm. I, I can see based on the stats that this is a very traditional market where it's dead in the winter um, from what I'm seeing anyways, like dead comparatively. And I know this year has been just insane here compared to in the past. Yeah. Um, but isn't that something that you can like based on supply and demand, say that, yep. hey, now's, now's the time to do this? I mean, is to that... Somebody, yeah, to somebody who's got the place to go, they're moving to their cottage or they're moving to... Or they, they like have a secure place, it's definitely the time. But if you're also looking to buy, say, looking to sell in Sheet Harbor, but looking to move into Portland Estates, well, there's zero listings in Portland Estates right now. Right. So you can't put your house for sale because it'll probably sell within a day or two. And then next thing you got to be out March 1st, but you have nowhere to go. So, yeah. 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 But if you can get the listings, it's, there oh, really is very little competition right now. Like, yeah. and, and a lot of people are think exactly what you're saying, Joe, it's hold off until the spring because that's when the market gets hot. Well, it's hot now. <laughs> if you sell this, now, you're probably test. probably going to sell for more. We don't know what the spring is going to be like, but yeah. because there's no competition right now for hardly any of the areas, it's a, it's a great time to list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I, like previously in, uh, in London, I would run into that. You'd get a listing in a neighborhood. It would literally be the only listing within about 2K yeah. of a single family residential house. So it would go like 30, 40 over, yeah. you know, you could sell it tomorrow if you wanted to. Um, and people would, you know, the problem that people had there was, well, now I'm also going to overpay as they call it yeah. right? Yeah. when I buy. Right. So they wanted to kind of buy first and then yeah. sell. Yeah. That was kind of what people wanted to do, but it didn't always work that way. Yeah. Yeah yeah i know that's uh that's the way it is a lot here as well mm -hmm. they want to buy first so they know they have somewhere to go yeah yeah that's i think a, i think a lot of listings are just waiting in limbo because mm -hmm. it's exactly that they just want yeah. they're scared to commit because you, know, you can't leave your family homeless you need yeah. some people with some short-term rentals yeah, you only have so many yeah if you know, that if you know all any of those, let me know because yeah. that's one of my challenges with anyone coming from Ontario, especially out this way. Yeah, yeah, it's nowhere for them to stay, right? right? So they have to self isolate, and you know, they're going to self isolate, but, but where? Yeah, you know, they, they, you've got to be kind of Porter's Lake before there's anything available. Yeah, yeah. which is in the grand scheme of things. It, like to me, it's not that far because I, you know, previously being from Southwestern Ontario, like a two hour drive to do something was not unusual. Yeah. And the drive, you know, the roads aren't, uh, I'll put this, uh, the roads were nicer, I guess, 
and not nearly as curvy or dangerous or, you know, like if you went off the road, you wouldn't be in the drink, that type of thing. So, yeah. so, so the two hour drive was uh, usually uh, pretty uh, straight going. Pretty straight going, and uh, but not nearly as beautiful as here, I will say that. So, I, I yeah. prefer the two hour drive here, to be honest. So, well, I think you've got a great resource to tap into, Joe. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of connections and stuff, and then once things open up, be able to just looking forward to it. That's the challenge right now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. New challenges are good, so I'm really looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know Nicole okay. I is it. amazing with tech and marketing and the social media stuff. They do a fantastic job with that. So hopefully, Nicole, you don't mind me saying, if anybody has any questions, reach oh, yeah. out to, to her. Yeah, but she's they've done an amazing job and I know she has helped out a lot with the tech part and with social media so so she's a great resource uh, so if anybody has any questions certainly reach out to her yeah for sure and another thing you can do is to look on the um on the Facebook training page so there's a ton yeah. like there's different um panels like the, the different masterminds like this that you can watch uh to get just extra insights and there's a lot of training videos there too more specifically how to build the campaigns i've done a few um on facebook through command so it's a good idea if you have some downtime to kind of play around in command and, and get to know the system so that when things do pick back up you'll be ready to go yeah yeah because you can't break it no, no. <laughs> play around with it you might spend a few dollars on it but see what it does yeah what, yeah. what is the name of the Facebook group for the brokerage? It's for the brokerage specifically, right? Yeah, Keller Williams Select Realty. I'm just going to. Oh, no, no. You reach out to Erin, she can send you an yes. invite. Right? Yeah, Keller Williams Select Realty. Okay. All right, I'll make sure I get on that today. Yeah, so there it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it is a it's a great resource, and people are posting stuff there all the time. Agents from all over are looking for information. They're looking for referrals for different um, different um, contractors. Areas. Thank you, contractors, no. <laughs> resources. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Alex. Had a real brain fart there for a minute. Sounds <laughs> good. Yeah, so it's it's great. Like it's a really great resource to be able to to um, to access and go back and look and and get additional info. That's good. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for taking the time for this today. Uh, thank you, Nicole. That was as always. It's awesome. You always have great insight to share, and I know. They're a great resource, so it's wonderful. Thanks, and yeah, if anybody has questions, feel free to reach out, I'd be happy to help. Okay, perfect. All right, All right guys, well, have a wonderful rest of your day, and hopefully we'll see you again on training soon. It'd be really great to say, hopefully we'll see everybody in person, but yeah. that might not happen for a little bit. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right, All have right. a great rest of your day, guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.